So I'm realizing that I might be kind of transitioning into like a different phase in my life. I feel like there's different phases in life, different phases of growth. And I feel like I might be going into another one. Because it just seems that even some things that a month or two ago, you know, were, were big goals I had, big dreams I had, and were things I really wanted to do. Here lately, I just I haven't been excited by them. And I do think the fact that I've been here in uh, Myrtle Beach for going on four weeks now, uh, something about the water is very powerful to me. So being at the ocean, this is the longest I've ever spent in the ocean in my life. Blessed to be able to have rented a uh, Airbnb real close to the beach, been able to look at the beach every single day, walk on the beach pretty much every single day. And I think that's done something very powerful, very spiritual to me and for me. Um, I've been spending my mornings recently listening to like Wayne Dyer and Osho and Sid Guru and Alan Watts. Um, I've always done that, but a lot more, a lot more here recently. And I just think something's shifting in the beginning of 2022. I had like a goals list that now when I look at it, I'm like, eh, and not even from a totally like, oh, I'm lazy. I don't want to do that point of view, but more from a, that just doesn't move me anymore point of view. Okay. Um, first there were, there were some arbitrary, like financial goals on there. I want to make at least one month this year. I want to make X amount of money off YouTube. Nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. Um, I'm also realizing that the I want to get 100,000 subscribers on YouTube by the end of the year, while a cool goal, definitely nothing wrong with it, it's just an arbitrary number. It's just an arbitrary number. And I think part of that is because I'm starting to realize that, and we're just getting the YouTube stuff out of the way first, because it popped in my head first, but... I'm starting to realize that YouTube is the platform I use to, to get the message out there. I feel like I need to get out there or I'm really passionate about getting out there. If something ever happened with YouTube or if I lived in a day and age where there was no YouTube or even no internet, I would get the message out there some other way. So if your goal is to get the message out there, does it really matter how many people have hit the subscribe button? My job is to just make the videos, do the live streams, do the shorts. Ugh, shorts are still hard. We're going to work on that. But, you know, do the shorts. Do whatever to get the message out there. That's the job. That's the goal. An arbitrary number of subscribers, yeah, you know, yeah. And, and it may not seem like a big deal, but anyone who's a content creator and who's had, like, goals for their channel or their Instagram or their TikTok, you know how disheartening disheartening it can be when you don't see them numbers going up. Or you might have a time where your, your subscriber numbers or your followers are going pretty steady, then they start to plateau or they start to dip, and it, it, it gets to you. It gets to you. You're constantly thinking about it. You're constantly thinking about views and subscribers. That gets to you over time. So just this past week or so when I've just been like, you know what? The subscriber numbers are going to do what they do. Just like so much pressure has been lifted off of me. Now, I'm pretty sure we'll still hit 100,000 this year, but I'm not, it's not a goal. I'm not pressuring myself anymore. I, I, I'm just blessed that, I'm blessed that the people, you know, that follow me now, subscribe to the channel now. And, and there's a part of me that thinks when you achieve a certain level of, of, of subscribers or followers or interaction or whatever, you grow a certain community. It's a little disrespectful to the people already in that community when you're always looking down the road at more people. Yeah, y'all are cool. Thanks for being here. But I want 40,000 more of y'all. Yeah, it seems a little disrespectful. Channel's growing. It's going to grow at the pace. It's going to grow. But I'm focusing on the message now. The same more on the message now. The same as far as like the money. And, and this is something Wayne Dyer said the other day, and I don't remember exactly what he said. But, but he said something. And it hit me. He said something along the lines of using what you know you acquire in this life to help others. 
as opposed to just acquiring and just like, gimme, 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 gimme for your own sake. He's like, we use things to, you know, we, we, if we, if things come into our life, use them to help others. And my mind automatically went to like money. And I'm like, oh, like I've been, I've been looking at this all wrong. Like any money that comes into my life, it's not mine. It's like, it's like all of ours. You know what I mean? Because I think he said something too about, you know, we're all in this together and everything on this planet is all of ours. So I, I, I was like, oh, money, if money comes into your life, you know, that that's all of our money, you know? And so, you know, once I've got the money and, and I've used the portion I need to make sure I'm comfortable to take care of me um, and, you know, uh, for other people, you know, your family, things like that. I'm like, once I've done that. The obligation now is to use our money to help us. I'm like, this ideal of just getting money and it's for me and I'm, you know, I'm going to put in the bank and I'm going to, or I'm going to ball out with it. You know, while there's nothing wrong with, you know, traveling, taking vacations, doing things you love. I was like, man, I, just the ideal of, of trying to make large amounts of money so that you can ball out. Or you can, you know, buy bigger, better, faster, prettier. Like I said, I already was thinking along those lines, but now it's like, oh, I'm, I'm really looking at it as like, okay, this was something that I was allowed to acquire, but doesn't belong to me. It's just that like, I'm, I'm, as we all are, are in a unique position to use that money to help other people differently. Since we're all different, we all have different circumstances, any excess money I get in my life I can use that in a way that maybe someone else couldn't to help us all. Everything here is all of ours. We got to get over this ideal of me, me, me and trying to acquire just for ourselves. Like, no, this is all of ours. Like, it ain't my money. It's everybody's money. So, yeah, I'm going to use some of that money to, to, to make sure I got the things I need in life. You know, do some fun little things. Kind of goes back to like my definition of minimalism. Uh, what you need, maybe a little more. But after that, I got to use that money to like help other people. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like it's our money. That's that's way too selfish. That is way too selfish. Way too selfish to think, oh, this is my stop. Like everything that's here is all of ours. And so that takes me now when I'm thinking about like, oh, I want to make you know X amount of money on YouTube. It's which, once again nothing wrong with that. I'll take the money, but. I will admit before there was kind of a desire to like, you know, I felt I would, I would feel a certain way. Ooh, I earned this much money. There's a lot of ego in there. I earned this much money. And I could do this with it or do that with it. Now it's more of like if the universe allows me to make that much money, you know, I'm going I'm to use some of it. But now we got to start thinking about how are we going to help other people with it? What are we going to do? And, 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 you know, as, as, as the ego goes away i've noticed that the desire to make large amounts of money even just if it's just to say i can is kind of going away because i'm like oh well, like a, a good portion of that you ain't gonna be able to do nothing with either you know what i mean like you got to you got to do some stuff with this that's even more work <laughs> you know what I mean? now i got to spend time figuring out how to help us with any excess money so it's like that don't even need to be a goal that don't even need to be a goal like that the goal is to just be able to, you know, we live in a system, we live in a society where, you know, we've set it up to where if you want certain things, you got to have money to get it. So I'm like, the goal is just to, you know, have the money to get the things I want, be able to do the things I like doing. Beyond that, that money just has to go back. <laughs> it's, it's, it's huge. You know what I mean? We don't get to keep that no more like that. Now, I still do believe in saving and investing and, and looking into the future, but I, my, my, my thought process on that thought process on that has changed. And now when I'm looking to the future, it's just like, yeah, like I'm, I'm even when it comes to like just buying stuff and, and, and owning stuff. And I'm just like, you can't really own anything. You can't own anything it, like, like this shirt. Everything in this shirt um, that made this shirt up was here before I got here. It will be here after I'm here. Like I don't, I don't own the shirt. You know, it's it, I'm wearing it, 
you know, no one's going to kick down the door since I, since I bought it. No one's going to kick down the door and, you know, take it from me. Say I, say I can't be wearing it. But you don't own anything. You can't own anything. It was put here for all of us. And so this idea that, oh, uh, since I have more money, I can get more of this and I can take it and no one else can have it. And then I can prove, you know, how successful I am or how big a man or woman I am because I have all this stuff. Meanwhile, other people are have nothing. That seems a little crazy to me. Like, you, you know what I mean? Like, I'm checking myself, too. Like, Tim, like, you know, you can't, like, I'm trying to get rid of even more stuff because I'm just like, how do you sleep at night if you're trying to just go out and acquire stuff just to show off? If you're trying to go out and acquire stuff beyond what you need, beyond what you need and a little more, knowing that other people are starving, knowing that other people have nothing. And you feel good about that? That makes you feel good as a human that some of you have more than other people? Now, if everybody was comfortable and then you had more, whatever. It still seems a little weird, but okay. But when you know, when you go to bed at night knowing that there's people who have nothing, they're not comfortable, they're suffering because they don't have, how do you sleep knowing that we're just out here trying to acquire more, more, more just for the sake of it. We don't need it. We don't need it. But we just want more of it. How are we sleeping at night knowing peace, knowing some people have nothing? And that's why I'm just like, Tim, you got to start checking yourself, bro. Like, you, you got to start checking yourself and like, okay, are, are you, you know, this stuff you're saying on the internet is good. It sounds good. But if you really care about your fellow man, if you really care about, if you really love everyone on the planet, like you say, Tim, there might be some areas we got to, you know, reconsider. I've lived my life, you know, been a minimalist and, and, and haven't had a lot of possessions. And, and I feel like, you know, I, I've tried to help others out on the Internet and, and donating to charities and being there. But I'm like, I think it's time to level up even more. And honestly, it's not even sometimes, you know, in life, we do things from like a guilt point of view you know you're just like ah from this time it's like a i want to point of view it's like oh i'm there now oh i'm there now Th this is the next move this is the next move and i attribute a lot of that to my my surroundings recently I had some good breakthroughs here and also just you know tapping into the masters to the mystics to the people who do who who are doing it now who who, who did it before you know, one of the beautiful things I love about technology, I'm not a huge fan of technology, but the fact that we do have access to like all the wisdom of the world from today on back is, is a beautiful thing. But yeah, I'm just starting to just see things differently. And it's just like, you know, how can I help? <laughs> you know what I mean? That's the goal. That's the goal. You know, how can I help? You know, if money comes in, how can I use that? If, if, if other possessions come in, how can I use that? If I've got time, i got energy, how can I use that? That's a, a big one I've really been, you know, looking at myself in the mirror. is like, Tim, you've got a lot of free time. Maybe we could be doing some volunteering. You know, maybe we could be doing some other helping out. Though, we, like I said, I do like to think I do, you know, uh, uh, help some on the Internet. Um, but it's like even that, hey. We're going through some interesting times. Maybe you can ramp up them live streams, Tim. So what if people think they're too long? Some people don't watch them. Like, this day, how can you help? Because that's it. That's the game. There's nothing else. There's nothing else. Once you've taken care of, you know, your creature comforts and, you know, you set aside time, money, energy to, to do the things you love with the people you love. Beyond that, what, what, like, what else is there? What else is there to do? So, like I said, very impromptu video. Um, just this was just in my head. It was off the cuff. Something prompted me to make this video. Changing, growing, and I feel like a lot of other people are as well. I feel like a lot of other people are as well. I think it's the times we're living in. I think it's the times that are coming. But we're definitely living in, in, in like some transitory times. 
And I think a lot of people on the other side of this are going to be totally different people. Or they're going to have grown to a... You're always the same person. So they're going to have grown to levels where, like, they seem like a different person. Because no matter how much we grow, we already had that in us. You're always the same person. I always say people don't change, they grow. Sometimes, you know, the wording you have to use is, is change and stuff like that. Or a totally different person. But what's actually happening is we're growing. And you can grow to a point where, like, your friends are like, who is that? Who is she? But it's a good thing. And I also do think, I say this all the time, taking some time to go out in nature, especially times like this where nature is still calm. Nature ain't changed. Nature's still just as beautiful as it was in 2019, right? Nature's the same. It's, <laughs> nature's the same. It's always been. The ocean, I'm here to tell you, is beautiful. The mountains are beautiful. The lakes, the streams, the animals. Go to a petting zoo. Go to a national park. Go to the park down the road, like get out in some nature because, you know, humanity is very agitated right now. Humanity is very high, but the rest of nature don't care. You know, the mountains have seen millennia of, of these problems we're facing now come and go. They don't care. They're not bothered. Get out in some nature and I promise you it can help you work through these troubled times. I think humanity is going to be okay. We're going to survive. But a, 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 a positive, a, a silver lining with this, this dark cloud, this seemingly dark cloud we're going through, is the fact that I think a lot of people are, or there's some shifts going on. A lot of people's thinking are changing. And if enough of us get that, that mindset and that ideology and the belief that it's not about me, it's not about Timothy Ward, it's not about whoever, it's about us. It's not about I, it's about we, it's about us. And if we start working not only to like take care of ourselves, but also to, to actively use our time, our energy, and our resources to helping our fellow man on like a regular basis. If like that's one of the things we want to do each and every day, if that becomes the game, as opposed to just acquiring stuff for the sake of acquiring it, which doesn't even make us happy. But if the game becomes, how do I help? How do I help? Then I think we really can grow our collective consciousness to a level that we can start to affect some real change on the planet. And that would be a beautiful thing to see. Life is amazing. It's already beautiful. But if, if we could get to a point where it's, it's, it's man and woman helping man and woman and that's the norm, that would be a beautiful thing. Anyway, thanks for listening. Just wanted to share. I uh, wanted to get that off my chest. Like I said, impromptu video. There's clothes on the bed. There's Windex behind me. Like, we just turned the camera on and started talking. Um, let me know what you think in the comment box below. I'll talk to you later.